Hello everyone, I'm Gen Matsuzaki. We are so happy to receive the 2022 Ig Nobel Prize for Engineering. I'm a design researcher and also a product designer. My laboratory studies the relationship between human behavior and various products. For example, we have designed bag handles, umbrella grips, furniture, bedding, pillows, and cushions, and so on. These are all everyday products that we use unconsciously in our daily lives. In this informal lecture, I try to explain what we were interested in and how we conducted our study, how to use fingers during rotary control of columnar nodes. We pick up small objects with two fingers. Slightly larger ones with three fingers, larger ones with four fingers, and much larger ones with all five fingers. We focused on this natural unconscious human behavior. We clarified the boundaries of the diameter where the number of fingers changes. The positions of finger contact at that time would be useful for the design of various products. This is the purpose of our research. Now, let me explain the method of the experiment. First of all, we prepared 45 wooden columnar objects of different diameters. These were supposed to be knobs, handles, caps, etc. The subjects were 32 people between the ages of 19 and 20. For all objects they performed, the process of recognize, approach, touch, and turn. The diameters of these objects ranged from 7 to 130 millimeters. One by one, they were set on an axis on a tabletop and turned clockwise with the right hand. The order is random. The operation was filmed from below with a video camera to examine the touch points between the fingers and the object. In this lecture, in addition to the top setting tests, I will also explain the results for the front and side setting. This figure shows the transitions between the number of fingers in the top setting. Statistically, each graph's intersection can be considered the diameter where the number of fingers changes. This is the front setting. This is the side setting. You can see that the proportion of five finger users is decreasing from around 90 millimeters. It seems that there is a relationship between the movement of the wrist during the rotation operation and the fingers. This is a layered graph of the three settings. As a result of these three experiments, we found that the transition from using two fingers to three fingers was at 8 to 11 millimeters. The transition from using three fingers to four fingers was at 21 to 24 millimeters. The subjects started using five fingers at 45 to 48 millimeters. Next, we capture the moment of the finger touch from the movie. Then, we mark each touch point one by one. 45 objects, 32 subjects, five fingers, X-ray coordinates, multiplied for a total of 14,400 values must be manually entered without error. Today, I think we can create programs that can 
automatically aggregate data. But that was not the case 25 years ago. Furthermore, by aligning the thumb point straight, the other four fingers draw quadratic curves. Then we could see how the use of the other four fingers transitioned with the change in diameter. In the top setting, the touch points of the fingers transition as shown. This is the top view of the knob. All curves can be represented by simple quadratic curves, and anyone can reproduce them. These are the formulas for the top setting. In the front setting, the contact positions of the fingers shift slightly to the left. These are the formulas in the front setting. In the side setting, the larger the diameter, the greater the curvature of the line drawn by the ring and little fingers. And the distance between the fingers seems to become wider. These are the formulas in the side setting. This is a diagram of the three settings overlaid. In the paper, this diagram is life size. This is so the reader can see how the fingers would touch the knob in the real world. This research clarified the relationship between humans and things by representing everyday unconscious actions in diagrams and mathematical formulas. And this is fundamental research that we are trying to use for product design. Many people around the world are doing this kind of design research. I hope that this award will bring attention to many designers and design researchers. Thank you for listening to my lecture until the end. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Thank you again.